Let me show you how you can use the option chain window to scan both a list of stocks and the list of options those stocks produce in the same window. I'm going to right click on the chart. I'm going to choose option chain to open our option chain window. Right now, we're showing options for the symbol SYMC. For the next 100 days, six strikes, both calls and puts. So right now, the option chain window shows us options on a single stock. To show options on a watch list, click on the stock symbol in the option chain window. Click on the radio button to choose watch list. And then click on the name of the watch list and select the watch list that you want to scan. We're going to use as an example the NYSE. Now, I don't want to generate options for all of the NYSE stocks. I want to filter those first. So I'm going to click the Condition button, choose Add Condition, and we're going to build a quick condition set to filter the NYSE to the stocks that I actually want to see. First, let's set a price condition. Notice I type the word price. We choose price in the menu. And we're going to say that we want the price of these stocks, which are going to generate our options, to be greater than $15. Let's click Add Condition again. I'm going to type the number 90 because I want to work with volume 90 days. I'd like for the average daily volume to be at least 1 million shares. And then one more and that's market capitalization. So I type part of the word capitalization. And to create my condition, I'm going to click on the drop down and choose ranks. And I'm going to just use my range selector to choose all of the stocks that have a market cap that exists in the top 60% of the market, thus getting rid of my small cap and my smaller mid cap stocks. Oh, and one other condition. I'm going to click Add Condition, and I'm going to choose Beta, and I want a beta value of greater than 1.5. So I want these stocks to be a bit more volatile than the market is. So there's my conditions. We're going to now click OK, and this will filter the list of stocks and generate a list of options for those filtered stocks. We click OK, and we apply it. Now we have filtered the NYSE by those particular criteria that we set up, and it's generated a list of 6,634 options, which have expiration dates within the next 105 days. Now, we have our list of options. Let's scan those options. I'm going to click the Scan button in the Option Chain window. And these conditions now are going to apply to the options themselves, not the underlying stocks. So I'll click Select Conditions, and we're going to choose Add Condition. And we're going to use a few option-based criteria. First, let's start with Options Delta. I'd like for the delta of these options to be at least 0.40. That means for every dollar the stock moves, the option will move at least 40 cents. I want to also work with open interest. How many contracts are currently out on the option? Let's say they have to have at least 100 contracts currently out. And then for daily volume, we'll choose the volume indicator and we'll say greater than 30 contracts. So at least 30 contracts had to be traded today. Now remember, we have 6,634 options. When we click Scan to apply these conditions, we bring that list down to 256 options. What do we know about these? These options meet our scan conditions, delta greater than 0.40, open interest greater than 100, and volume greater than 30. We know these options have expirations within the next 105 days. There are six strikes displayed, and they're both calls and puts. And finally, we know that they come from stocks in the New York Stock Exchange that meet our basic scan conditions. The stock trades at at least $15 with a million shares traded on average every day. It's in the top 60% of the market for capitalization, and it has a beta value of 1.5 or greater. If you want to see the stocks that are generating these options, 
you can click on View Symbols and it's filtered the NYSE down to 104 stocks. Once I get my options, I can sort by any values. Let's say we sort by implied volatility and bring our highest IV to the top of the list. We can also spacebar through the options. We get a chart of the option history and we get the strike price on the chart of the underlying stock.